talk about real quick Andor. Andor is on Disney Plus. Uh, and if you have not watched Andor, um, it's basically a Star Wars spinoff of the main character, Cassian Andor. Um, but it's a spinoff of uh, Rogue One, right? Now, let me just say that Rogue One, I thought, was one of the best Star Wars movies. Like, it's it's up there. Like, it's in my top three, okay, of all the Star Wars movies. It's in my top three. The reason why I loved Rogue One was because, one, it ain't had nothing to really do with all the Skywalker, blah, blah, blah stuff. It was about the rebellion. It was about, like, the grass, the, the gritty, grounded stuff going on that ain't had much to do with the Force and all that. Don't get me wrong. That ending with a certain Skywalker was great. But at the same time, you know, um, that wasn't the focus, right? And And not only that, Rogue One served a purpose to explain what happens in a new hope right so i thought rogue one was great so when i heard about um uh andor being made i was like oh this is gonna be dope now i'm not going to spoil andor for anybody that hasn't watched it but i am going to talk about my reaction because i was given the first four episodes um for it and, you know, just like any other critic, any other YouTuber, content creator, um, you have the opportunity to uh, share your reaction. And this is just your gut feeling. It's just your thoughts. It's not a full review on what you thought. I posted it and, man, I had the people coming at your boy like I. Ooh. But here's what I actually said. What I said was I saw the first four episodes of Andor. Not going to lie, but this was a miss for me. The pacing, story, and characters just weren't that intriguing. This is Blade Runner meets Solo. And if you like that, then cool. That's great. But for me, I'm going to keep watching and hope it doesn't put me to sleep later or again. And I still stand by that because, I'm sorry, first of all, let me just preface that i was never really um a blade runner fan right that does not mean i think blade runner is terrible it does not mean i think it's trash i'm just saying that like i understand and respect what blade runner did i understand how, you know like what it does cinematically i can appreciate the technicality behind it i'm just saying that's not a movie i'm about to run to and be like, oh man, play it again. I seen it. I seen the new ones. I understand it. I get it. I just don't care. It's not appealing to me. Solo, I've told y'all this for a long time. I don't like Solo, period. I never cared about Solo because I always thought Han Solo's story was already good enough. It was good enough throughout multiple movies. And we did not need a backstory for him. And I would also argue it solo did not do the best job of basically grabbing, let's say a more casual fan at the time. And me, when it came to the underground criminal stuff in star Wars, I think solo would have worked better as a Disney plus series because it's almost like with Boba Fett, Boba Fett has its problems, but at the same time, Boba Fett gave us a very good look. Uh, 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 at the aliens, you know, that were like, um, guys, I'm forgetting their names now. You know, the cool ones, uh, that the sand people. Those Tuscans walk like men, but they're vicious, mindless monsters. You know, like, it, it gave us an inside look at them. It showed us, like, all the, the trades and the backstabbing and all that stuff that was going on. That was good. That was a great way to show us the nitty-gritty underground of Star Wars. Solo, not so much. So for me, when I look at uh, uh, Andor, now I was going off of the fact that I watched all four episodes all at once. For me, I did not care about it because the first episode is not bad. The first episode is not bad because the first episode were following the main character, Andor, Cassian Andor, and Cassian does something that I would say 
add some value to his character. It's like, oh, Cassian did that? Okay, where are we going to go with this? So after Cassian's action in the first episode, after that, flatline. They started talking about this character, that character, this character, that character. I'm like, why should I care about you? Who are you? Why are we spending so much time with you? Where is this story going? Where is Cassian at? Why is Cassian doing the same thing over and over and over again? So for me, those first couple of episodes were not that good. And yes, they did put me to sleep. And I did give them another shot to rewatch them. And it still was not compelling to me. Now, when I, I want people to kind of understand when I give my reactions to anything, right? You have to understand that my job as a critic is to give you my reaction at that time in that period. I have the right, just like everybody else too, to change my mind over time. I can sit here and say, man, these first three episodes are boring as hell. But maybe by the time the series is concluded, it's the greatest thing ever. And I'm sitting here like, yo, I didn't know why I needed to care about that person, but now I do. Now I love them. And that's the thing I think people miss when people come to like these reactions and it doesn't gel with how they felt. Listen, if you love Andor, good. If you didn't love Andor, good. It's okay. Their opinions. But I just didn't personally care for this yet. And I also thought it was mighty suspect that you're going to drop three episodes of a 12 episode series season at the same time that's a little suspect you drop 25 percent of your whole show knowing good and well that you need week to week subscribers to stay and hang on that lets me know that if you would only drop if they if we had gotten these shows these episodes one at a time per week the ratings would have tanked because after episode one everything would have tanked in my opinion but anyway, um, Andor to me is flat for now. Um, by the time y'all get to the fourth episode, the end of the fourth episode is giving me a little bit more hope to continue going on. But like right now, I don't care about Andor. And again, this is coming from someone who likes Rogue One a lot, by the way. Just because, because I heard some people talking about like, well, you just hate slow burn stuff. Like, where's your patience? Time out. I do like slow burns, but let me explain the difference. One of the best shows, and I got a review on this too. So if y'all want to go check it out, please do. Breaking Bad, one of the best shows in television of all time. Slow burn, quality. Another one I would give y'all on Netflix is Midnight Mass. Woo, man, that's the epitome of a slow burn. Just people talking and talking and talking and talking. Ain't a lot of action, but talking and talking and talking. And then towards the end, it picks up. The reason why a slow burn works for those type of properties is because there's no preconceived expectations, right? And this is what I mean. When you walk into something completely brand new, whether it's Midnight Mass, Breaking Bad, whatever, if it's completely brand new, you don't want to rush anything. This is a new world. It's new characters. It's new situations. It's new everything. So you do want to take your time and check this out. Who's this character? All right, let's take some time developing this world over here. What's society like here? What is, what's going on with the character? You do want a slow burn when it's completely new. But if it's a familiar property, if it's a familiar franchise, even if you're exploring a separate section of the franchise, you don't need to be a slow burn. Some people appreciate it, and that's good for you. But there's already a built-in expectation that if I'm in Star Wars world, okay, Star Wars has been around for 40 years, 40 something. What you got a slow burn in Star Wars? What in Star Wars needs to be slow burned at all? It's Star Wars. We 
know there's a rebellion. We know. <laughs> we already know what's going to happen at the end of the rebellion. We already know what's going to happen, you know, at the end uh, uh, of Rogue One. We know this stuff already. What are we slow burning here? What is the purpose? So that's one of the, I mean, look at Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones did what it did. It established, it, it was slow at first, but it picked up. Game of Thrones has a spinoff, House of the Dragon. Is House of the Dragon a slow burn? No, because we know this world. We've been here already. I'm not saying it's high-paced action or whatever, but you've got to give people something, at least in a familiar territory, something to chomp on, something more interesting. I don't care about some top-flight intergalactic security in Star Wars. I don't. I just don't. Now tell me more about Cassian. Let me learn more about the main character. I don't Cassian already was a supporting character in the main movie. I don't really care about the supporting character, supporting character, supporting character. Now again, maybe all that stuff is going to change later, but I'm just saying, it didn't grab me like that. It just didn't appeal to me, you know. And again, shout out to the people that love it. I'm happy for y'all, but please don't be trying to come from my neck just because I don't see, like, it doesn't make me less sophisticated because you saw it and it was cinema for you and you just appreciate the quality of the writing. Bro, bro, go, go, go touch some grass. Go, go on somewhere. Okay. Go eat your prunes and your caviar somewhere else. Everybody has different likes and takes. And that, I'm sorry, Andor was not that for me. And if it was for you, all of y'all, that's great. If it wasn't, that's fine too. But anyway, I just wanted to get that was my reaction because I know some people were also asking me like, "Am I going to be doing uh, um, reaction videos or or breakdowns for Andor?" No, no, not I ain't see no reason to. Not now. Yeah, like if I'm going to talk about something, first of all, you have to sucker me into something, and. You have to make me think that it's going to be good and like be bad in the middle or something for me to like cover it. Because if I start covering it, I don't want to stop. Right. I, after watching Andor, I was like, I ain't finna go. Like I would. That's going to be like. Feeling like I have to go to work when I come talk to y'all. It is work. Right. I mean, I got to set up the show notes. I got to read the news. I got to find out. I got to do my research. It is work. But it doesn't feel like work because I get to chat with y'all, get to talk with y'all, get to see what y'all feel like. That's fun. I like that. But if I had to do Andor, that would have felt like some work. Like, man, here we go, man. What the? Who is this person's name, man? What are we talking about now? Like, I want to do that. I want to do that. So, I ain't covering Andor. Maybe if it picks up later, maybe. But um, and maybe I'll fall in love with it at another time. But right now, it ain't ha happening. But anyway, um. That is my reaction to episodes one through four of Andor. Um, I just was not compelled by the writing or the character development or anything like that. I do like where episode four ends, and I'm hoping that by the time it uh, episode five comes out, um, we will get back into the Rogue One vibe, right? I'm hoping we get back into that vibe. Um, but right now it's just it's like look we if we're a quarter through the show and you still kind of like <laughs> boring like that that's a problem for me but anyway if y'all have seen andor if y'all have seen andor let me know how you feel about it because you might not have my opinion you might love it and again like i've said that's great i appreciate that i love that y'all love stuff and i love the fact that y'all love stuff that i might not like and vice versa that's fine that's people right we should be able to like things and we not always gonna agree but let me know how y'all feel about it um or at least the first three episodes let me know how you feel about the first three episodes because right now if it was me and i was giving it a grade ooh, i'm probably giving it like a six i'm giving it a six that's me i know some other other reviewers and critics oh this is a 10 out of 10 it's perfect that's great but that ain't for me that ain't me uh, but anyway, I'm very curious to see where y'all fall on that. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about Andor episodes one through three. Um, and, you know, if you're watching this pretty late, let me know how you feel about episode four eventually. Uh, I'm going to, you know, post this later anyway. So y'all let me know how you feel in the comments down below.
Thank you so much for watching. This was just the segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.